time that we have left, I want to talk to you about on who do we place our faith in and how do we develop our faith. Hallelujah. Amen. So as we look at this passage in Mark in chapter 9, we begin with a passage with a very, very familiar scripture on the transfiguration of Jesus. We know that Three people Jesus took up with them, Peter, James, and John. And they get a glimpse of Jesus' transfiguration. It says that, you know, he became so bright and so, it was so wide that even the best launderer could not have been able to achieve that. And in, and in that transfiguration, they got a glimpse of Jesus' glory. The event of transfiguration was the celebration of, of who Jesus was. But Moses and Elijah represented the law and represented the prophets. While Moses represented the law, Elijah represented the prophets. And they were there to testify to the scripture that the Messiah must suffer and die to atone for the sins of humanity. That, that his sacrifice of love is going to, going to be the sacrifice that covers everything. That his sacrifice is going to fulfill everything that the Lord demands. And his sacrifice is going to fulfill everything that the prophets have testified. And in another account, it says they spoke to him about his death and his resurrection and everything that was going to happen. And we know that in this, in all of these things that are happening, then Peter says, you know, we need to build these three tabernacles. And the Bible says that he said it, he did not know what he was saying, he said it because he was scared. But then there's a voice of heaven that spoke out and said, this is my beloved son. Listen to him. And the, when the, and the Bible says that when they looked around, they saw no one but Jesus only. Whom we place our faith in makes all the difference. No matter what people are saying about you, no matter what you are saying about yourself, you might be saying, I'm worried what's going to happen. And the voice of the heaven says, listen to him. I'm not good enough. Listen to him. I'm confused on what to do. Listen to him. I have made many mistakes in my life. Listen to him. I am scared. I'm hurt. I'm hopeless. Listen to him. It's unfair what's happening around me. It's unfair what's happening to me. Listen to him. I cannot forgive. I'm not able to move on. I'm stuck and I'm struggling with this addiction. I've lost so much. No matter whatever the condition of your life is, no matter whatever condition your situation is, the voice of heaven says, listen to him. And when they looked around, the only person they could see is Jesus. So basically what God is saying, that the only only voice you need to hear is what Jesus says to you. Everything else is inconsequential. No matter whatever state you are in, whatever you're facing, it could be fear, it could be whatever situation might be holding you down. All that you got to do is to listen to him. As we journey through life, we need to understand there's always two voices trying to get your attention. And if they get your attention, they get your alliance. And they get your allegiance. One is the voice of God. And the other is all the other voices. 
and one shall he drown out the other voice. You need to choose who will you listen to? Will you listen to him or will you listen to everything else? Whoever we give the permission to whoever we give our attention to is the one that will automatically direct us. Hallelujah. You know, we've been saying for a long time that whoever has your ear, whoever has your ear, has your life. Whoever controls what you hear can control what you do and can control what you become. And so often, we give our ear to other people who don't have the ability, who don't have the interest to look out for our best. And we many times we ignore the one that has formed us, the one that has called us, the one that has qualified us, the one that has created us. We don't get a time to listen to him for the things he has for us. And the reason why we settle is because we don't have a year to hear what Jesus says to us. And that's why it's so important that we get into the word of God. Because through the word, we hear his voice. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word. The foundation that builds our faith is the word. And when you listen to the word that has been spoken to you, it builds your faith it builds your hope and it builds your confidence when you face situations around you.